In this video, we will learn how to derive demand and supply functions from the given quantity demanded and supplied schedule of a commodity. The question is the quantity demanded and supplied of a commodity on different prices are being given below. We have the prices, quantity supplied and quantity demanded. Okay, so at a price of one dollar, quantity demanded is fifty and quantity sorry, quantity supplied is fifty and quantity demanded is hundred units and similarly at a price of two dollar quantity supplied is 75 units and quantity demanded is 50 units and so on we have to obtain the demand and supply functions and also calculate the price equilibrium price and output or quantity okay so first thing is first what we need to find out we will first derive the demand function so the demand function looks the general form of demand function looks like this q is equal to a plus bp and this b is negative okay so this b is negative so this is our general demand function we need to find out uh, this very demand function okay what will be the value of uh, you know a and b in this demand schedule okay so first thing is first we need to find out this b this b denotes the slope or what we call the inverse of slope in economics okay so actually slope is actually a rise our run a rise our run that means if we have this kind of graph so slope is simply the vertical distance upon horizontal distance but since we are taking uh, you know quantity on this side and price on this side so slope denotes our this change in quantity and that is and this change in quantity upon change in price okay so we don't have this rise our run we have run our rise here okay so let's be clear with that so let's write it as slope so slope which is b is simply equal to change in quantity upon change in price okay so we are taking to find the change in quantity demanded and change in price we take any two you know price schedules and quantity schedules okay so simple thing we need to find out change in quantity you can see here let me write it here change in quantity uh, you know the quantity demand is ha demanded has changed from a hundred units to 50 units so the change is 50 minus 100 which comes out to be minus 50 and corresponding to this price has changed from 1 to 2 so change in prices so we have reached 2 dollars minus 1 dollar that is change in prices 1 that means change in quantity is minus 50 upon change in prices 1 so we get minus 50 is the value of b okay now what we need to do we just need to find out the value of a okay so to find the value of a simply plug any of the price and quantity demanded pointers from the table okay so to find the value of this we simply plug any price and quantity demanded in this equation so our uh, equation has uh, become that is uh, q is equal to a so in place of b we have minus 50 p now to find to find the value of a just plug any uh, price and uh, you know quantity uh, you know set here so let's take this and or let us take uh, this uh, price of two and quantity demanded just plug these two values here you will get the value of a that means so in place of q we will write 50 so we have 50 is equal to a minus 50 and corresponding to 50 we have a price of 2 so let's write it here 2 that gives us the value of a so let me write it here so i can write it here so a will be equal to so this comes out to be 100 okay so transposing here it will become plus 100 so we have 50 plus 100 which comes out to be 150 okay 
then our demand function will look like this so our uh, demand function is q is equal to a the value of a we got 150 minus b which is 50 and we have p this is our quantity demanded now to find the supply schedule okay so this was how to derive the demand function uh, to derive the supply function so how what is the general uh, you know equation for the supply function so supply function is being denoted by let us say c plus dp this c is called the quantity intercept okay and d is actually the slope or uh, you know simply uh, what we call this inverse of slope because we take uh, quantity on the horizontal axis so if this is our supply function let us try to find out the slope first slope is simply equal to change in quantity supplied upon change in price okay now let's take any two you know rows here uh, to get the change in quantity let's take the first two so change in quantity is change in quantity is equal to so quant quantity has changed from uh, 50 to 75 that means 75 minus 50 which comes out to be 25 and corresponding to this what is change in price that is del p this is simply from uh, 1 to 2 so ch change is 2 minus 1 which comes out to be 1 so slope which is being denoted by d here is equal to uh, del q upon del p so del q comes out to be 25 this is p so we have positive slope here okay so what will be our uh, demand supply function then so supply function will be equal to c plus uh, 25d now what we sorry 25 p now we need to find out the value of c to find the value of c plug any of the price and quantity supplied in this equation okay so any two points okay so let's take any price here <clears throat> any price and quantity supplied here so we have a, um, let's take uh, this 75 so we have 75 is equal to c plus 25 so corresponding to this we have a price of 2 here so 75 is equal to c plus uh, 50 which gives us c is equal to you know 75 minus 50 comes out to be 25 okay so this shows us the quantity intercepted there then our quantity is yeah, there is some background background noise i cannot control that sorry for that okay so this is our uh, you know quantity intercept so our demand uh, supply function has become so our supply function has you know let me write it here so i will also draw the graph here so c is equal to 25 so let me write it here then so in place of c we have 25 this is our supply function okay this is our supply function this is our demand function now we can also plot it on graph so on graph it will look like this so let us solve this demand function or I don't have the space that's why I am getting you know confused so let's draw a simple graph here so we have quantity demanded Q is equal to uh, 150 minus 50 P okay uh, to find uh, you know the intercept is here let us say this is quantity this is price let us put p is equal to when p is equal to 0 when p is equal to 0 quantity demanded is equal to 150 you can check it out here and when q is equal to 0 when q is equal to 0 so if this is 0 uh, this becomes minus 150 so minus 150 or let us write it here which gives us 0 is equal to 150 minus 50p or 
fifty p is equal to one fifty, which gives us p is equal to one fifty upon fifty. So this comes out to be three, I guess. So when q is equal to zero, price is three. Let us say this is three. Okay. So the scale will not be the perfect one. And when P is equal to zero, quantity demanded is one fifty. So let us say this is one fifty. Then our this will be our demand function. Okay. And similarly, we can draw the supply function. Okay. Let me rub this because I don't have the space. So when we have Q, or let us uh, see here to draw it on graph. So when P is equal to zero, this term becomes zero. So when P is equal to zero, Q is equal to twenty-five. Okay. So when price is equal to zero, quantity is equal to twenty-five. Let us say this is twenty-five. Okay. So the intercept of and we can also okay when p is equal to 0 q is equal to 25 okay when q is equal to 0 what happens when q is equal to 0 so we have then 25 plus 25 p is equal to 0 or uh, 25 p is equal to minus 25 or p is equal to minus 25 upon 25 so p is equal to minus 1 okay so if i can draw it then in another quadrant so when p when quantity sorry what we have here when q is equal to 0 when q is equal to 0 p is equal to minus 1 let us say this is minus 1 okay Minus one, then our supply function will look like this. Okay, this is our supply function. So it is not you know perfect to the scale, but it will look like this. So I just uh, you know explain how to derive the demand and supply function, and also how to graph it. Okay, this was not the part of the question, but still I try to figure this out. Now we are being told to find the equilibrium price and output. So equilibrium occurs where demand and supply intersect each other. This is our demand function. So when let us denote it by Q D and this by Q S. So at equilibrium, at equilibrium, quantity demanded is equal to quantity supplied. Quantity demanded is this 150 minus 50 P, and quantity supplied is 25. Plus 25 p. So solving for p, here we have 150 minus 150 minus 25. This is 125 is equal to uh, you know 25 plus uh, 50 p. So this is 75 p. Or p is equal to 125 upon 75. Okay. So this will come out to be, and this is 25 fives are. Sorry, twenty-five threes are. This is twenty-five fives are. So this will be our price, equilibrium price. So P is equal to five upon three. You can check it out. Now corresponding to this P is equal to five upon three. What will be quantity demanded? Just plug P is equal to this either in quantity demanded function or in quantity supplied function. Okay, let's plug uh, this value in this. Okay, so corresponding to this Q will be equal to. We have twenty-five here. Plus twenty-five uh, into the value of p is five upon three. Solving this, it will become twenty-five plus. So this is one twenty-five upon three. So one twenty-five upon three is uh, three ones are three fours are twelve, and then we have three ones are three point. So what is three six are eighteen. So this is forty-one point six plus twenty-five. So this comes out to, out to be six, six, sixty-six point six. Okay. So quantity, uh, equilibrium quantity, 
will be equal to 66.6 and equilibrium price will be 5 upon 3 okay so corresponding to this we have 66.6 uh, .6 and price is 5 upon 3 okay so this is how do we calculate the first uh, you know the demand function and supply function and how to graph it and how to find the equilibrium i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you